Hi, sorry this one's a bit late. I've had a busy couple of evenings, so that's why. Last week I said I had an interesting point floating around the noodle. So now it's coming out of the noodle and into the real world. On a slightly unrelated point, look what came in the post today. I might be able to make these out, but these are little Lego lightsabers. Oh yes, I've just been duelling all day. Back to business. Today's point regards zombies. Now, everyone loves a good zombie apocalypse. I mean, they're just an excuse to take out our violence on the things that we fear. I'm not going to go into some big speech about what people fear, but they're, they're a bit scary. I'm fully aware of the, with the zombie humans, they're a fairly necessary part of a zombie apocalypse. But what I think is overlooked in almost all zombie films and games, probably books, I haven't read any, is the zombie fly. That was a well-known fact that flies are known to eat dead and rotten kind of meat. And during a zombie apocalypse, you'll be pretty hard not to find any, because they'll be walking around just rotting and dying. So I mean, it's pretty easy, pretty easy target for a fly just to come along, have a bit of a nibble, lay a few eggs, and go off to another zombie. I don't think there's a part of the world where flies aren't there. Wherever there's a dog willing to do its business in public, guarantee there'll be a couple of flies willing to <coughs> eat it. I, I, I've never quite understood why, but that's evolution for you. Oh God, we accept both sides of the argument here on the Perspective of One's channel. So, I read that flies would probably start eating zombie flesh and then start laying eggs. So, I mean, the f population of flies would just explode. But, could flies then become zombies? This is something we are, we're going to try to discover today. Now, as no animal would have encountered this infection before, they wouldn't have been able to build up a defence system, uh, an immunity to the disease. So I can imagine pretty much every animal would be a target. However, human zombies would only go for humans because they're cannibalistic. I think that's what it said in Zombieland. So pretty much all other animals, they'd be safe because they could just keep their distance, you know, do, do what they need to do to not die. And the zombies would just leave them alone. Easy as that. However, the fly, the fly would hunt down and eat the zombie flesh itself. So, could it then contract the disease like that? Um, quite possibly. So a horde of zombies would be, I mean, yes, it's annoying, but they're pretty big, they're pretty easy targets. You could fairly easily withdraw a badminton, ra badminton racket and slay a few while you run away. Yes, I, I just have a badminton racket in my bedroom. Oops. But with a swarm of zombie flies, it would be quite a lot harder to defend yourself because yes, you could get more kind of kills per swing. That kind of pew if they don't get through the little holes. But they would eventually kind of surround you and swarm you. Like in the third Matrix movie, when there's that guy on the big guns and the sentinels are just flooding in. And he's like, whoa. How that represented on the sensible things, I, I have no idea. But it does. That's what I'm trying to be. Let's accept it and move on. So if that does happen, the human race is probably more screwed than if it wasn't to happen. Because like I said, zombies are pretty big targets, you know, get out a gun. And you know, as long as you keep their distance, you can you can probably pick them up with a shot to the brain. But flies, quite a lot harder. 
Could flies transmit the disease from fly to human? If so, then we don't really stand much of a chance. But if not, then it would just be bloody uncomfortable, I suppose. That was my interesting thought. Probably a bit anticlimactic for most of you. But if you're a keen defender against the zombies like I am, you may this, this may have raised a point you hadn't considered before. And chances are, you're going to be better at finding a solution. So I'm a bit rubbish at that kind of stuff. But anyway, this has been me talking nonsense to you. The you guys. That's what you've now called. Accept it and move on. And I'll see you next week. Probably on Tuesday. Sorry this time I didn't go off on Tuesday. But like I said, I was busy being responsible. <clears throat> yeah, I was being totally responsible. Right. Bye bye.